Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. So I am back with my little uh, flip um, coin envelopes. I don't know what, what you want to call it, but our kind of little mini um, journal here. So I think what we're going to work on is the front. And then I also have cut some manila file folder the same size as the coin envelopes. I think I'm going to turn them into flips that flip up so they'll stay closed. But then, you know, when you come back to the back, this will flip up. So we'll have to hinge those on. And I've got one on the inside. And I have a Tim Holtz piece of paper here that um, I'm going to have as a tag that just tucks under this. But we're going to do some other things on top of it first. So that's what we're doing today. How are you all doing today? I hope you're all fantastic. I'm doing pretty good. Just um, doing my thing, you know, that I do. <laughs> So I'm going to ink this. This is just a scrap or a, not a scrap, but a torn off piece of an old envelope. So I'm going to put some ink on that. So my son did come this weekend. Yay! Which I was so happy to see him. He does have like a cold, the same sort of thing that my husband's got going on. So he was a little slower moving than normal, but I mean, he, he's fine. It's just cold, but... Um, yeah, but it was good to see him. He really wanted to come down because he needed to bring some of his um, belongings. He's trying to um, get as much down here as possible so that he can just drive down when he's done with his finals. And um, we don't have to go up. But, I mean, it, I told him if need be, we don't mind going up. But, yeah, so that was his goal, and that's what he wanted to do. That's why he came down this weekend, so... But it was awesome to see him, as always, even though he was only here one day, basically. In and out. But just good to see his face. So it was fun. We hung out on Saturday and just hung out basically on the couch because he just wasn't feeling super stellar. But yeah, it was good to see him. Had dinner and all that with my daughter, too. She came. I get to see her a lot more though. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is have it like uh, this. These two funny ladies are going to sit right on the front. She's kind of got like her arm resting on that. And then it'll go on here. And this will go on here. And we're going to make it a pocket so that that tag can still come in and out. What I am thinking, I may have to back this just because this is an old letter. And I just worry that, you know it might rip. So I think I might put just some like, you know, this stuff, brown paper bag or something behind it. So maybe we'll glue it onto that, tear around it again. We're going to have lots of tearing. <laughs> I just want to make sure that it's a strong pocket, you know, since that tag can go in and out from behind it. So... And our weather is very bizarro because it was 80 and then it got cold and now it's kind of creeping back into the 70s and it's supposed to snow on, I think, Wednesday or something like that. I'm just like, wow, we're kind of all over the place right now, which does happen in the spring quite frequently here, but it seems a little extra with the, you know, drastic temperatures within just days of each other like that. So it'll be interesting to see what what it actually does this week. And I'm super excited because, well, when you guys see this, because um, it'll be on Tuesday, Skinwalker Ranch will be back on. <laughs> and if you don't know about, I can't remember what the title is exactly. Um... I don't know, but Skinwalker Ranch, if you if you search Skinwalker Ranch, you'll find out what in the world I'm talking about, if you don't already know, but it's a TV show, and anyway, it's, it's very, very good, and very, um, I find it fascinating, like, I don't know that I believe in aliens and all that jazz, but whatever is going on at that ranch in Utah, it's in Utah, um, is pretty, pretty wild, whatever it is. So 
but yeah, it's taken a while for it to come back on, so I'm very happy to be able to watch that. Real exciting life I have, huh? <laughs> oh boy. Well, what are you going to do? I might even just leave that sort of hanging off because it's just paper bag. So like, I'm not that worried about it. And I know this kind of goes up over that a tiny bit, but it's fine. So this will become kind of like our, our topper piece here. And then we'll put those on top of it. On top of the topper. So yeah, I'm excited to watch that and excited because it's almost time for my son to come home like for the summer. So then he'll be here a lot. And my daughter will be around a lot more too, which is awesome. She won't come like stay at home because she has to pay rent all, you know, all year. So that's kind of a bummer, but at least she'll be around more that's what he'll be doing next year because he's gonna get an apartment so he will be not around as much so that's what happens when they grow up right okay that's good I think just have something on that back part there. And then we'll put this on. I think I need to ink around this or something. It needs something. Oopsie. Probably would have been good to let that dry. <laughs> Before doing that. I'll do more of a dabbing than a swiping. Take our tag out for now. We don't need it there right this instant. Okay, and this envelope, you know, is um, the flap that's holding in this envelope. So that needs to be there. All right, so now when we put this on, that looks a little bit better. It just needed some little more aging there on it and I think I'm going to use my art glitter glue but you can use any kind of wet glue doesn't I mean whatever you like and I can probably do across the top too huh oh maybe not I don't think that tag will fit in there I think it's bigger. Uh oh, I just turned my light off. Sorry. Oops. <laughs> Yeesh. Okay. So that slides in there. Uh, we're going to go for it. If we have to, we'll cut the tag a little bit down. So it's really, truly just a pocket. It's not like anything, you know, amazing. It's just a pocket, but I think it's kind of fun to have it like that. So the one thing I do need to do is glue this to this because otherwise it's going to get all, the tag will get all caught up on two different flaps right there, right? If you see what I'm saying? So let's not glue this closed, Amy. Oh my goodness. Okay, that does need to be glued a little bit closed right there. But this is what I'm talking about right here. And it needs to be able to slide under there. Okay. 
bone folder. <clears throat> Sometimes you got to finagle it so that it'll work the way you want it to. And I see where it's getting caught up right there. I might have to make that tag just a wee bit narrower so it'll fit. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll just make that one narrower, but it's fine. It will work. I need a little more ink right here because I want to be able to see this um, part of the tear. So it does look like her arm is in fact resting on something. You see what I mean? And she's kind of sitting on the lines of the uh, stamp, um, you know, whatever the cancellation mark <laughs> words. Does that seem right? Yeah, I think so. I've been listening to, I don't know if you guys, some of you might do the true crime thing. Some don't, <clears throat> some people don't, you know, like it. It's just very awkward and uncomfortable, but I've been watching that Letitia Stout trial. It's actually Gannon Stout. And oh my goodness, that woman is something else. She's been flipping off the judge and um, the family of Gannon. It's like, wow. Eesh. Okay, I'm going to cut this down a little bit. Because I really, really want it to fit in there. So I'm going to cut a little off of each side to make it even. Because I obviously I want that to stay in the center, right? So I need to... I'm just cutting like a sliver sliver off of each side. And hopefully it will appear even still. <laughs> That's the hope. That's why you should always make the pocket first and then the tag. But I just saw this piece of paper in my scraps and was like, ooh, that would be cool. So I just used it. And it was just a little too wide. Hmm. I'm not sure what I'm catching on still. Well, let's get these guys glued down. I can deal with that. I may just have to shorten the tag a bit and do it that way. But this is what I do. If you want to know my process, this is it. <laughs> it's called trial and error because I don't measure anything. <laughs> it's a great system. Probably be a lot easier to measure stuff, but I don't think so. Because that's just the way I am. Take it down just a little bit. Okay, so we're going to cut this some more. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. I might round those corners on the bottom too and see if that helps. <clears throat> Sometimes it's just something as simple as those points catching on stuff. So, not that. <laughs> Yeesh. There we go. Ta-da, I did it. Sometimes I am even impressed that I managed it myself, so. All right, let's see. We need a little bit of color or something, I feel like. Do I want a flower? That wouldn't be bad. 
I thought I had one of my this and that labels. This one wouldn't be bad. It's not under there. Oh, Lordy. What did I do? You know, I will find it directly after I do this video, I can guarantee. I have like teacups and all kinds of stuff, but you think I can find that? Nope. Oh, well. Don't know. I guess I could put that one on. I liked the colors of the other one I had more, though. <clears throat> I'm trying to pick those up. That is really weird because I just had that. I know, it's annoying when people do this stuff during a video, but it happens because we got all this little junk. This one. Kind of like that one. <clears throat> I had the one that said journal on it, and I wanted that one. But I don't know what I did with it. So I guess we'll go with that one. I like those co that color better than that greenish color. If I put some stuff away, it might help, huh? All right. <clears throat> I do like the flowers. These are just Tim Holtz, you know, flowers. And Tim Holtz paper dolls. <clears throat> so yeah, I think I think this is going to be a fun little project. And then I also saw this morning while I was drinking coffee, I did watch a little bit of Gail's video. I didn't get to watch the entire thing, but she was making um kind of like little art dolls or um, paper doll type tags. So those were really cute. I was like, I, I have an idea for that that's a little different. And I think I might try those coming up here on a video. You know, you just say art dolls or paper dolls and I'm in because I love stuff like that. So <clears throat> I probably will have to hop onto that bandwagon. Let's see, I feel like I just want a little something right there, like maybe some kind of label or I don't know. So I have this uh, sticker book that I got from Amazon. I don't know if you can get them. I, somebody mentioned to me not long ago that they were sold out or something. I don't know because that's not, you know, the whole what's at Amazon is not really my, I don't know what they have in stock is what I'm saying. So Hopefully they've gotten them back in stock. I don't know. Or I could be totally wrong, too, and be thinking of something else. So. Oh, these butterflies might look kind of cool right along there. Just something back there. These They're just washi stickers. And then at the back, and the pages come out, like, super easy. There's a, uh, there's some papers back there, too, that are pretty neat, so... I don't trust washi though, and I always put um, some extra glue on it. But see at the back, there's a pad of, you know, fun papers too, like collage papers, because they're thin. They're real thin. <clears throat> My glue's already getting dry. See, 
I like those because you can still see that writing under there, but you also don't see the part I smeared. So yay. All right. So that will go in there. I don't know if I want anything on that or not. If I decide I do later, I will. But that's like one of my favorite Tim Holtz papers with all the numbers and like ads or whatever those are on there. So I think I'll do that. And then I think I'm going to put one of these here, but I need to cut it down a little because remember I cut this particular um, envelope smaller. So I think I will trim that off and then we'll make a little hinge for our little add-on here. If you did it the right way, Amy, it would work better. I like doing projects like these because <clears throat> they're a lot quicker than a full journal. And sometimes my brain just needs that break from making full journals. <clears throat> I'll make more. Um, no need to worry there. It's just I like to do these kind of like in between projects that aren't as <laughs> as much, you know, and that I can get done faster. And I just like projects like this anyway. So that one folds in. That's why it's a little bit smaller. Okay. This has a little um, tiny score mark from the... <clears throat> um, it, it's a manila file folder. So that's why this will work. Coffee dyed paper for a hinge. So I hope you guys make one of these or something, you know, so a few people have said long envelopes would work totally. That would to just long envelopes rather than the ones that open at the end. You can make them out of whatever you want. You could even just do um, like accordion paper and just add pockets to it or whatever. So there's loads of stuff you could do. These are just for fun little projects to do. So... Yeah, because I know not everybody has coin envelopes or what have you. So just just use what you got. Oh my gosh. I should have just cut that. <clears throat> There's lots of things you could make them out of. I just happened to acquire some of these from my friend. And so whose mom passed and my friend Lorraine. Hi, Lorraine. And uh, <clears throat> so it was perfect, a perfect thing to use. You can get them on Amazon. These ones are um, six and a half by three and a half. So if you want the exact size, but I mean, you can use any size. You could even use the little mini ones because I've had people say, oh, all I have is the mini ones. You could make a little mini book that would be really cute. So... <clears throat> I think I'll do this on the outside and then glue it on the inside, like instead of ha having it go over the edge. If that makes any sense at all. I want the side with the thing already on it. So I'll go like that and then it'll just glue down and this flap will be glued here and it'll flip up. Okay. <clears throat> so you kind of want to add these things early on unless you want to see all your hinges. Like if you want to use decorative papers for your hinges, then, you know, totally do that. That's up to you what order you go in. But I think I'm going to end up covering a lot of these hinges and stuff up with the decorative paper. You can do it both ways though. And there's no right or wrong. It's just whatever you like. Okay, I am going to ink this. 
I know, inking and inking, always inking. It's a little different Manila than those. Well, these ones are old too to top it off, so. <clears throat> but like I said, I'm gonna cover a lot of this up, so I'm not that worried about it not being the exact same color. I like that. <clears throat> so I think I will go ahead and cover that with something. Maybe we'll use these ladies at tea. Spilling a little tea there. I think that would be fun. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna tear the top off. No, you don't have to do this if you like the straight edge thing better and you're gonna cut yours, obviously. You do it how you want to do it. I want to try to attempt to get it as straight as possible. Not that that'll work, but we're going to try. <clears throat> and this is my Spill and Tea Digital if you didn't get my reference. And it's not spilled tea, it's spillin'. I know that that's super why, but for some reason people have been trying to find it on Etsy and they can't find it and that oh, makes me wanna pull my hair out. But anyway, you know, Etsy, not you guys, obviously it's not your fault. Um, I just don't know why it has to be so picky. Like, just show them what's in the shop that's close to that. Something that has tea. That's all you need to know. <laughs> like, why do you have to be so picky about it? <clears throat> they don't have a great search engine, I'm going to be honest. It's not great. You have to be, like, right on the nose of the name of the store, the name of the item. That's why I, I do, tr and I'll leave a link in the description box below this video, too, of this digital so that you can take the link there because that's a lot easier. And I try to remember to do that. And if I ever forget, just tell me and I will do that for you. Or I'll just even give you the direct link. Because <clears throat> I don't know why their thing is so picky pants. But it is. I love the look on her face. <laughs> That's too cute. And you still have a little writing space there. <clears throat> and then on this other side, uh, if I can get it to lift, I'll, I might have to put like a little tab or something. Um, We'll do something back here. You could just leave it like that, too. I just want to cover it because I want this to be more cohesive. But um, you could totally leave it the way it is. And it would work out fine. I might put these two ladies here on this one. In, in the teacup. Taking a little bath. So I ripped that, of course. 
all crookedy, but we'll just put something there. And we can always put pockets on it. Like you can put a pocket up here or wherever you want. I do that next. Sorry, I don't have many stories to tell. Hasn't been very eventful. I mean, you know, the kids around, but it's not even like we did anything much. With it being such a fast trip and all, I didn't do that very good. It's a little bit too crooked. Let's start from the top, that might be easier. Just because I don't want it, I'm worried about it hanging too high up that way, that's what I'm trying to say. And I made a glue mess, like always. All right, now I have to trim this because I did hang it over too far. So that's fun that flips up flips out um up there we're going to take maybe this put it here and then or even like this and put some kind of pocket over there me thinks and then i could slide somewhere i have a postcard <clears throat> Slide that in. That's those are my family members, my ancestors, I guess I should say. Okay, where is it? I don't want this one. I kind of like this one better. I like the color. Okay, and I'm not going to worry about that straight edge because we're going to put a pocket, like I said. So I'll try to just make sure it covers that up, whatever the pocket is that I decide to put on there. I'm just winging it now. I only had plans for the front and the, <laughs> the flap things. <laughs> But that's what makes these fun, is just to get some stuff together and go for it. Make it however you want it. Um, straight edge goes this way. Somebody's dog's losing their marbles outside. <laughs> He's got things to say, you see. My son loved the AirTag on Pasha. The AirTag is a 
if you don't know, it's an Apple device that like you can put on your key ring or your purse or your luggage or your pet. I got a collar on Amazon um, for that. I think if I just cut this down, that would fit really nicely. So let's just trim around this a little bit more. Um, yeah, so my son thought those were pretty cool because, you know, it's techie stuff and he loves that. Oh, that's why that was like that. Well, sorry to say, but that's going to go because I need this as my pocket. We could even get, I wonder if we could get that little oval out. I'll pause for a minute, cut out that oval, because that would be kind of fun to have as a little opening right there. So hold on just a minute. Okay, hello. I am back. I cut the center out of that. Um, I found one of my printouts of one of my cabinet cards that's in my cabinet card digital download, and I'm just going to glue that like that and then just trim around it. I think that'll be fine. I decided I wanted to have that... Um, more of a solid piece because I don't know why I put glue on this whole thing. I'm such a dope. Um, it's a little flimsy once you cut that oval out of it. So I decided if something's slipping in and out of there, plus that way it won't get caught up on there either. Almost covered the whole thing, but not quite. But it looks pretty good. We're going to turn it this way so hopefully I don't bumble it up. And I don't know where I got this frame. I'm sorry. It was just floating around in all my randomness that got fussy cut a million years ago, not used, and then gets stuck in scraps and whatever. So I apologize that that's not something I can tell you because it is pretty. I don't know where I got that. But it's going to become a pocket. And I also found this. I think I might use this one to put in there. So we need a notch. Not with that. <laughs> it's a tag top punch. I thought it was one of these. If I could get a hold of this, put this up here. Oh, is it still going to be too tall? No way. It is. Ugh. Killing me, Smalls. is making me very unhappy. Let's see if it'll go somewhere else better. Still just a little too tall. Well, bummer days, but I want to use it because I like it. I think I got it. Let's ink it. Hopefully it won't look too weird. Okay. Then we just have to put glue on this side. The top which looks like the bottom right now, but it's actually the top <laughs> and the back side. 
without the thumb notch. like it like it like it a lot this is a good way to use up all your random things you have like printed out too because <laughs> this is another piece that i've had printed out forever who knows from where i think this might have come out of one of those books i have with the you know the vintage antique images in them that i've been using quite a bit for my 50 stack challenge it's too bad the other end isn't sticking out but it's fine Okay, so that's pretty cool. Flip it open, flip it up, and then go this way. So yeah, I think we're off to a good start. Let me know what you guys think. We'll just keep trucking along with this. I'm in no huge rush. I need kind of a brain break, so um, I'm glad to have a project like this. I do enjoy these. I hope you guys do. I was just looking to see if I had my tag, and I don't, so I don't know where I put it. I set it somewhere to go back in this pocket. It's floating around here somewhere. So yeah, I like it though. I'm liking, I'm liking that. I think that'll be fun. All right. So I will see you guys again tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, welcome to any new subscribers. Love it. And welcome back to my continuing subscribers. Love you guys. Couldn't do it without you. So uh, thank you. Thank you. And have a great rest of your day and we'll chat again soon. Bye now.